Right then. Are you the lad that caught us out? Yes, that's What's right. the problem? See, the dogs sort of got um, trapped on the bench. Dog? Pitch the 13.5 to the tree to rescue the dog. Right. Now begin with roll, sir, and tell me what happened. Will you all move back, please? Come on, mind the ladders. Back. Thank you. And these up there as well, Chief. We're up there. Yeah. Eric Banks. Eric Banks. Anyone here knowing Eric Banks? Jasper. Eric, I think it's time we weren't here. Come on. Oi! I thought it wasn't going to happen anymore. So did I. Thanks. I mean, we worked it out. It was your sister wanting a dog that did it. That's why we got to the puppy. I know. I thought it wasn't going to happen anymore. You said that, Roy. Now I'll tell you where it. When I turned round and saw you, I nearly fell out the tree myself. Eric, where on earth have you been? Oh, um, in the park, Mum. We've been, uh, climbing trees. And I suppose you're having such a good time that you completely forgot about going to the vet. The vet? I asked you this morning. You promised to take Emily's pup to the vet for his injection. Oh, yes. Um, sorry, Mum. Well, his surgery closes at 4.30, you know. Um, right, I'll get straight down there, Mum. I'll come with you. Eric! Yes, Mum? You'll need the dog. Emily's got a dog. Why is it still happening? I think that's pretty obvious. Obvious? How? Let's face it, Roy. My sister isn't the only person around here who wants a dog. Yep, ten pounds should be fine. Me? You think it's me that's doing it, don't you? Yes, Roy. As a matter of fact, I do. Bye-bye. But why should... Why should it be me? Lots of people want dogs. Doesn't mean they turn their friends into one. I don't know why it happens, Roy. And maybe you don't mean to do it. But you're the one that's causing it. So? What am I supposed to do about it? Well, for a start, you can stop thinking about dogs. OK. Stop thinking about Hello. dogs. Hello. What's his name? Monty. Monty. I'm not going to think about any dogs. No dogs. No. I'm not going to think about dogs. If you have any more trouble, please don't hesitate to call. Thank you very much. Right, Mrs. Harvey. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Wait, come through. I'll, um, wait out here if you don't mind. I'm not very keen on needles. Okay. 
Hmm? It's not easy, Eric. What? I just want you to know that it's not easy not thinking about dogs. Well, just try, Roy. Try. I am trying, Eric. I really am. Hey, Eric. Eric! Hey, brilliant. You know, I thought I heard some scratching. But... Here we are, then. All done. Now, the only thing to remember... Where is he? What? Eric Banks. Where's he gone? Oh, he... He c couldn't stay. What about the puppy? I think he, he asked me to look after it. I see. Well, here you are, then. Now, the only thing to remember is to bring him along in about three weeks' time for a booster shot. You'll tell Eric. Will you? Uh, right. Is this your dog? Um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> He's a nice-looking fellow, isn't he? Has he been inoculated? He's what? He's had his injections. They need a booster shot every year, you know. Um, I don't think he's had any injections. None. Well, I think he should, don't you? Um, I don't think he's very keen on injections. Well, I don't think he'd like to stamper, either. It affects their central nervous system, you know. They have fits. If they get sick, they can't breathe properly. They usually die. I... Oh, I could do it now. What, uh... Now, now? Don't worry. I'll just give him a quick jab in his bottom. He'll hardly know I've done it. All right? Yeah. He was feeling good, Eric. I mean... Just imagine if you did get this temper. Personally, I just think you made it worse by farting him like that. Anyway, I don't see what you're moaning about. I'm the one that's got to pay him a fiver. I thought what we'll have to do. I don't see why I have to do anything. It's great. Roy, I've been nearly killed up a tree. I've been given an injection I didn't need. I never know when I'm going to turn back. All right, we have to do something. Cured my sister of wanting a dog by getting a one. Right? Right. So why don't we cure you the same way? Talk to your mum and dad. Tell them you want a dog. Um, dad? Could I have a dog, please? Why do you want a dog? Well, just imagine that a ray of light in a far reach of the universe, space and everything uh, came down, shot straight through the hole in the ozone layer and struck you blind. Then, where would you be without the guy? No! House! Please. What on earth do you want a dog for? It would be great around the house. It would uh, help you with the shopping, uh, carry your bags, fetch balls. Could even guard the house. Be a great idea. Hmm, might be quite a nice idea. Look at your feet. Look at the... Out! You're not having a dog? Out! Please! Out of my kitchen now! Oh, just no, just out! Go on, no, 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 no dog! Just, just out! A, a great Out thing. Go. A, a Out. Oh. Don't know what they've got against dogs, but... What about your sister? Susan. Worse than useless, Eric. She wants a cat. Don't worry. I think of something. Hey, look at this. Hey, is that a real balloon? 
Of course it is. It works on anything. Here. Good, eh? Ah, oh, Roy, I've got something for you. For me? Are you all right, Eric? Um, yes, thank you, Mrs. Ackerman. Good. There you are. I'm not sure you deserve it. What is it, Mum? It's a present. Well, your dad and I know how disappointed you were about not getting a dog. So we went down to the shop and... Well, go on, then. Open it. Oh, oh Mum, I don't... I don't... You haven't. You, you haven't. It's a cat. I thought you'd be pleased. It was your sister's idea. Was it? Well, I thought if you couldn't have a dog, you'd be just as pleased with a kitten. Thanks, Mum. What am I supposed to do with a cat? There's no other choice. Yeah, I suppose so. And the only thing that will convince them is if I turn up at home as a dog and prove it. How? Got it all worked out. Yeah. Just come round to my house and then... Step one. Ask if you can come in and say there is something serious you want to talk about. Okay. Then, once you're inside... Step two. Show them your dog can understand words by making it fetch things for you. You see, you just asked me to go and get something. I'll go and get it. And then they'll know I'm too clever to be a dog. Are you sure your dad won't hit me? Promise. Dad's never hit anyone. I should, uh, watch out for Mum, though. Go on, then. Fetch it. Cat. Eric, and it, this is great. Because I've been thinking. No, no listen, I'm, you just listen to this one, okay? Right, there's always picnickers out on the common, right? And that means food, right? Well, I thought that if do that thing. Hang on, I haven't even told you yet. It's a message. Brilliant. Step one, ask if you can come in and say you have something serious. Oh. That. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it, Tarek, but, uh, First of all... That's the whole idea of it. Well, it'll only take a minute. There you are, Eric. Well, it's not too cold. I mean, you'll enjoy it. Susan? I said, was that your dog? No. It can't have been my dog, could it? I wasn't allowed to have one. Remember? Come on. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Step one, ask if you can come in. Derek's out at the moment. Yes, no, Mr. Banks. It was uh, it was you I wanted to see, really. Me? I'm afraid there's, I'm. There's something. There's something serious I want to talk to you about. 
Serious? All oh, right. Well, you better come in then. Pork pies, anyone? Oh, crumbs. What have I said? Huxley thought. See yourself down, Roy. Oh, do tricks and make people laugh. Still got that dog, I see. Um, yes. I don't think I'd like the tightrope. I'm afraid of heights. Um. Ladies and gentlemen. I was just watching this until the football came on. You have all been waiting for. The it's quite clever. Have you seen it? Yes, yes, have. Mr. Banks, is your wife at home? Come here. No. Come here. No, she's out shopping. Look, Roy, if you've seen this before, perhaps you could explain something to me. What is the pig doing in a circus? Both legs. I told you to get a new set. He's having a dream, Mr. Banks. How's Miss Star Attraction going to walk the high wire with both legs in class? Of course. I thought it must be something like that. Or you do the high wire act yourself, net or no net. Now, um, Miss Banks, there's something I have to tell you, but first of all... Not the high Do you mind if I turn this down a bit? All right. Is that your final word? Oh, oh. Oh, um, is, is there anything you want? What do you mean, Roy? Um, is there anything you'd like brought to you, now? Well, I wouldn't mind a cup of tea. No, no. You see, you have to ask things that can be carried, you know, in someone's, someone's mouth. Oh. Like, like a pair of slippers. Would you like me to get your slippers? I'm wearing them, Roy. Okay. Um, something else, like um, now oh, that cushion. Harry, get that cushion and give it to Mr. Banks. Murdering oh, 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 Calvin. Oh, you better sit down, down your feet. Oh, oh, not. Charles, oh, yeah. can you give those to Emily? Oh, all right. Well, the bus is late, of course. I don't know why they bother to wish you a timetable. It might as well be in Chinese for all the notice anybody takes of it. There are only two girls on the check. I'll get to the you must be Eric's grandmother. Yes, that's right. Um, I'm, uh, I'm Roy, Eric's friend. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, I was just wondering if you'd like anything brought to you. Well, I wouldn't mind. A cup of no, tea. No, you can't, you can't have a cup of tea, you see. Oh. It's got to be... S no, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll get you a cushion, OK? Eric? Oh, thank you. Now, you probably noticed that uh, Eric isn't an ordinary dog. Oh, yes, he's a clever little dog, isn't he? Well, what I'm about to tell you may come as a bit of a shock. Now, your grandson Eric, you've probably seen those films where a man turns into a werewolf. But this is nothing like that. Well, this isn't a werewolf. See, your grandson Eric... This light was out, isn't it? Right, Dad. Harry, I was wondering if you would do something for me. Sure, Dad. It's Roy. I want you to have a talk to Roy. What about? I don't want to be harsh. You see, Roy has a wonderful imagination. And that is a gift. And one day he may find it very useful. But the trouble is, when he talks to people like your grandmother... What did he tell her? <laughs> he told her that... Well, it doesn't matter exactly what he told her. The thing is, if he told me or your mother, it wouldn't have mattered. Why not? Well, we would have laughed, told him not to be so silly and sent him home. 
Would you? Of course we would. For your grandmother, well, she's rather old, sometimes a little confused, and... If you could have a word with Roy and ask him not to go telling stories like that again, okay? No more stories. Particularly stories about dogs. Right. I think you'll understand. Okay. Sure, Dad. Bad nice boy. Night, son. Night, Dad. Have you told him? Just on it, love. Shame. Still, I'm sure his mother loves him. Right, the picnickers are over there. Well, if you go, go through and run over to them as fast as you can. And they won't know what's happening because they'll be too busy eating. And you keep down and you can go around that way. Right, off you go. Excuse me, has anybody lost this? Yes, that's my shoe. Thank you. Where did you find it? Oh, well, I saw the dog go through the bushes and... Uh, oh, you saw the dog? Yes. yes. Oh, well, never mind. I'm very grateful to you. Here, help yourself. Mm, thanks. Thanks for bringing it back. Pleasure to work, didn't I? Oh! I'm, uh, I'm sorry I messed it up with your parents, but uh, I don't think this dog business is at all bad, Eric. It's all bad at all. Alright. Where should we go for pudding? 